This is Maths Linear Algebra Tutorial 1, Question 1. We'll now go through how to solve this question. The problem is this. We are given the following equations and we are asked to solve for k for non-trivial solution. By non-trivial solution, it means that the solution x, y, z should not be equal to 0, 0, 0. Otherwise, this is the trivial solution. The strategy to solve for k is to perform Gaussian elimination on the augmented matrix. If we call the this matrix A, the augmented matrix basically will give the variable B in the last column. So it is AX equals to B written as A B. As mentioned, the strategy is first perform Gaussian elimination. Next, when finishing the Gaussian elimination, we'll inspect the number of pivots. And then we want to see the leading variables and the free variables. And in this case, for this system of equation to have non-trivial solution, the number of pivots must be less than 3 because there are 3 variables. There must be at least one free variable. So the process of Gaussian elimination is this. We expect you to be able to do the following Gaussian elimination. Let's just do one. We take this is the first row, we call him R1. This is the second row, we call him R2. And we apply this rule. R2 equals to R2 minus 5 times R1. Basically, we are getting rid of the first element of the second row to make it zero, to make the matrix into row echelon form. This is the resultant second row. And we also progress to do the third row. This is the resultant third row by this operation. We continue along and we finally get this matrix. This matrix is in row echelon form because we have the, the following shapes. We have zeros in the front of each row. The lower the row, the further the entries are that are non-zero on the right. I have boxed up the square to show the pivots. So we have one pivot and we have two pivot. The second pivot and the last pivot is 9k minus 9. To make the solution to have infinite solution, this pivot must be 0. To make it 0, we can set k equals to 1 making it 0 equals to 0. In this case, what we have is that basically we have found one row having no information whatsoever, so we get 0 equals to 0. The other interpretation is that this row, the information has been represented by previous rows already, so there's no new information on this row. That is why we have 0 equals to 0. You can read more details of my explanation about pivots and free variables here. Thank you.